Okay, once again, I'm out at one of my favorite places to go, Bull Creek Wildlife Management Area in Osceola County, Florida. And it's going to be about uh, in the upper 80s to low 90s today. Nice little breeze, but you know, our spring lasted about two weeks and now it's summer. Uh, it's still in the spring season, but it's kind of summer. So it's still a really, really nice time of the year to camp. Uh, especially if you're tarp camping and you know you're you can be out to the open air and stuff because you just in the summertime in in the south and Florida especially you just can't stay at night in an enclosed tent but if you stay in an open tarp you'll be visited by any number of a thousand different small woodland creatures from ants to roaches to mice to rats to flies and mosquitoes and you know, snakes and possums and raccoons and gators and <laughs> panthers and all that kind of stuff. So I thought that it would be nice to have just a little bit of protection, if nothing else, but against the bugs, okay? So I ran up on a pretty cool thing that I'm gonna show you. It is the uh, Benvo. It says it's the mesh inner tent. And we're gonna, we're gonna take a look at this closer in a minute. But uh, it says fine woven mesh, good ventilation, spacious room, and super lightweight. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks just like a little pup tent. And it's got an opening on the end and an opening in the middle. So uh, let me take you in for a closer look so you can see the dimensions of the tent. And then we're going to go over and set it up. Okay, here we go with Benvo Mesh Inner Tent. This is pretty cool. Um, it says it's 120 centimeters wide by 210 centimeters long and 110 centimeters high. So I, my, my metric system isn't too good. So I set this out on my floor and I measured it. That comes out to about four feet wide by seven feet long by about well, three and a half feet high. So it's kind of just like a little pup tent and, but it's all mesh and it's really, really cool. Uh, on both ends, you know, you can see they give you the little connection points. They give you about 15 or 20 feet of paracord for each end. And it's really, really cool. They give you about more paracord than you'll ever need. On the other side is some handy dandy setup instructions. Uh, because all they give you is six stakes, six of the little wire stakes with this, four for each side of the bottom, and then two for a couple of guy lines. And they said you can set it up with poles or trekking poles and tie, uh, you know, the guy lines down. Or you can set it up between two trees with a ridge line. Or you can tie those end pieces on to two trees and set it up uh, like that. So let's go set this thing up. It looks really, really cool. Uh, and I want you to see it could be a great alternative to open tarp camping because tarp camping is really fun and it's really nice being out in the open air and everything else but in florida especially i know in the southeast and a lot of other places in the spring and summertime the bugs will just tear you limb from limb and this is gonna stop that problem so let's go out and set this thing up okay let's set this baby up Okay, easy breezy, bingo bango bongo. You got your footprint there. What I was doing is, I was kind of lining up this tie out point with the tree on that side. And I'm lining, and I'm lining the center up with my tree on the other side. It's gonna make it a little bit easier to tie it out. So now, I'm gonna tie this sucker up and I'll show you how this works.
right, so let's check this baby out. Um, man, this thing is nice. This is right out of the box. How it comes, they give you these uh, these long uh, guy lines, and all I did was tie a bowl in around one end and put it through the thing. Uh, you could you could easily use a trekking pole and set a trekking pole up there if you didn't have these two trees. Set a trekking pole or cut a pole or something and put it in the ground and and guy it off that way. All I did was tie it to the tree and I used my nice little tot line hitch there. Uh, but this is this is pretty tall. You see it's got the bathtub bottom and it's all sealed on the bottom. However, the bottom is not that thick. So if you're out in some sharp stuff, you might want to carry an under tarp to put underneath it. But this is probably three and a half feet tall. Same on the other side. All I did was put a bowl in in there. It's got a, it's it's got a double zipper closure on the end, and it's got the large double zipper opening in the middle. Okay, so here's the Benvo mesh tarp. Uh, uh, now I'm gonna go inside and we'll uh, check out how much room we got. All right, here we go. We're going in. Ah. All right, now. Wow, there's so much room in here. I mean, and I'm, I'm sitting up and this is like four feet wide. Uh, there is totally plenty of room for all of you and all of your stuff. I'm gonna lay down now, see if you can see me lay down. Uh, uh. I mean, tons of room, tons of room. Oh, and I can feel the breeze coming through. This is so nice. But I like to use a ridgeline and a tarp because what happens in Florida, it rains. And it usually rains at night. So that's the worst time to be in a mesh tent. And you know, this ain't gonna stop nothing except mosquitoes and bugs, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set this up on a ridge line, and then I'm gonna throw a Harbor Freight eight by 10 tarp over it and check it out. So let's do that now. Man, we got the Redneck Riviera going here. You throw a Harbor Freight 8x10 tarp over it. You even got some airspace in the back. Holy mackerel. You could tarp camp in that for days and be good. All right, let's show you what it looks like under the tarp. Holy mackerel, this is plenty of shade. Oh, it's 20 degrees cooler under here. Jeez, this is so awesome. This makes such a cool shelter. Let me bring you in a little closer. Oh man, I'm right in the shade. Everything is great. It zips up. You're totally enclosed at night. This thing is awesome. So, this is the Benvo mesh inner tent. They call it an inner tent, but clearly you can use it as a whole tent. Uh, the only drawback is the, the floor. The floor, like I said, is not too strong. So if you're staying in somewhere where there's, it's kind of sharp, you may want to bring an under tarp, you know, to go under it. But uh, I picked this thing up for 50 bucks on Amazon. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. And this is the summer camping place. You could easily fly 
the back of the tarp up like the front and have it totally open air at night. If it rains, just drop these down. The only drawback is using an eight by 10 tarp. It only goes to the edges of the tent. So if it rains and the rain comes from the side, probably gonna get wet. But a 10 by 10 may be better, but an eight by 10 works just great. Uh, so once again, this is the Ven Benvo mesh inner tent. I got off of Amazon, 50 bucks. So once again, this is Matt the Old Florida Boy, and I'll see you on the trail.